the Weir equation is derivation of rectangular dam on Weir crest. The Weir equation is used to calculate the discharge capacity over a rectangular spillway crest like here, Gold Creek Dam, or here, the OG crest of the Paradise Dam in Australia. The Weir equation is a relationship linking the volumetric discharge above the dam on Weir crest as a function of the upstream head above crest on Weir crest characteristics. With here, the classical expression for a rectangular crest that we are going to derive here with relevant notation illustrated on the sketch. The Weir equation for rectangular Weir on dam crest is derived based upon the combination of the fundamental principles of fluid mechanics on open channel hydraulics, namely combining the equation of conservation of mass, Bernoulli principle on critical flow conditions. The continuity principle or conservation of mass states that the volumetric discharge equals the velocity times the flow cross-section area or rectangular channel. It will be the water depth times the transverse breadth. The Bernoulli principle is applied between the upstream reservoir and the spillway crest. And it states that the specific energy at the crest equals the upstream total head, basically the upstream reservoir elevation, minus the crest elevation, with the depth at average specific energy being equal to lambda times d plus beta times v square over 2g, where lambda is a pressure correction coefficient and beta is a velocity correction coefficient. For hydrostatic pressure distribution, lambda equals one. For uniform velocity distribution, beta, beta sorry, equals one. <clears throat> Critical flow condition at the weak crest implies that the specific energy at the crest is minimum. On following PACMETF, the derivative of the specific energy with respect to the water depth must be equal to zero, which lead to a relationship between the unit discharge at the crest and the water depth at the crest, assuming in first approximation that lambda and beta are constant. Thus, we obtain the Weir equation for a rectangular crest on an ideal fluid flow Negating friction on energy loss, shown here. While for real fluid flow, we tend to express the Weir equation using a dimensionless discharge coefficient, Cd, which account for the Weir geometry, the inflow conditions, and friction on energy losses. Thus, for an ideal fluid flow, the Dimensionless discharge coefficient is a function only of the approach flow condition and geometry with an analytical expression function of beta and lambda shown here. While for real fluid flow, CD will occur in addition to friction on energy loss. In practice, the dimensionless discharge coefficient, CD, is derived from physical modeling or mathematical modeling with CD about unity for a broad crested wheel less than one for a sharp crested weir, and greater than one for a rounded crest such as an OG or circular crest. One may compare the ideal fluid flow solution, horizontal axis, to the real fluid flow discharge coefficient, vertical axis, with data shown here for broad crested weir with rounded edge, showing that for real fluid flow, the discharge coefficient is less than the theoretical solution. Importantly, the Weir equation is derived within some very strict assumptions. We assume a one-dimensional flow. The dam on Weir crest is ungated and uncontrolled. In present of gate, the equation are very different. There is no tailwater effect. That is, critical flow condition take place at the crest on the downstream flow condition do not impact on the crest operation. And lastly, 
So the NARP is ventilated as non-linearities and instabilities are known with an ventilated NARP. In summary, the Wheeler equation derived from fundamental principles of fluid mechanics, namely continuity, Bernoulli principle on critical flow condition, with an expression shown here for a rectangular crest. Expression that is valid within some very strict assumptions, one dimensional flow, and control crest, no tailwater effect on ventilated nap. Relevant bibliography include seminal papers, peer review scientific papers, and textbook, with additional YouTube video movie in this channel. Thank you very much.